Hey guys, Joe P. Sharp. So today we are going to be doing a two and a half centimeter lift on this lovely lady's skates. Uh, we did one of these last year. We did a two centimeter lift for her. She has a five centimeter leg height difference between uh, her left and her right. So this is her left skate. We're gonna add two and a half centimeters to cut the five centimeter difference in half, to give her a better ability to skate on ice. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is five millimeter pieces of plexi. I have just this older piece of plexi, same thing, uh, that we usually use, which would be a flat piece. But this one, just because it's scrap, we're gonna use it. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove the uh, holders off of these CCMs first. Then we're gonna lay these out on here and we're gonna cut out these pieces and uh, get it all sanded and bolted on. Because this is such a high uh, lift to these skates, we can't actually use the rivets that we normally do. It's gonna be the same as the last build that we did. We're gonna go get some screws and some lock nuts and we're gonna put it on and uh, cut them off, sand them down, make sure everything is nice and pretty and get her on the ice. So here we go. First off, taking off these holders. So uh, we're gonna switch on over here. The riveter, knock out all the rivets. Those are first. We only have to do one skate, so this will be a little bit quicker. So we'll do this here. And then we'll get on to the drawings. like that and the holder off these skates and we're gonna knock these guys in. so just like that what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna measure these out onto this piece of plastic okie dokie so skate holder so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna move these guys out of the way so we have some room and we're just going to start tracing so we're going to line this up just on a crazy little bit of an angle here we're just going to draw around this guy Okay, dokie. So, just like that, and hopefully you can see it in the video. We've got all of those um, tracings set up here for us. We'll cut these guys all out, and then we'll be right back. So, what we are doing here is we're going to be stacking all these guys so that they fit on the top of this holder. I've already put the heel pieces together. So this is what it looks like when they're uh, glued together. So this is what the stack looks like. Okay, so we've got all five layers. Now, if you look at from the side here, you can tell that they're all kind of slightly off and that is because they're rough cut. What we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, grind these things down, sand them down so that they're all the same height. Uh, you'll see earlier in the video there where we were using the cross grinder just to bring these down to basic size. So what we're doing is making sure that these fit and I will again, I'll clean up these holders, but this, is what that's gonna look like. So that's how much of a lift we're putting. That's that two and a half centimeters. So those five stacks, we're just gonna stick off to the side. We're using George's glue. We grabbed this stuff from Nash Sports. The ladies over there uh, sell some really crazy stuff for hockey repair, and it is definitely the best glue on the market. And uh, we're gonna use it to put these together. So what we're gonna do is we're basically building a stack so that the toe same sort of thing looks like that so 
we've used that as a as a uh, template so that we can grind these guys out, cut them all out so they're the right size. Um, because this was used, I'm going to put the piece that has the little bit of a scuff mark right at the bottom. I want to flip it so that it's in the right direction. Okay, so everything kind of mostly lines up. So what we're going to do is this. And five. Okay, so those are the five pieces. So I'm going to put a little bit of George's glue on here. And this stuff is super caustic. It will stick basically anything to anything, which is why I'm wearing gloves and I'm wearing some thicker uh, 10 mil gloves so that if they do stick, it's not immediately taking my fingers with it. So now I laid these out in a specific order for, the, for a reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using that as the base. We're gonna try to get these things as well lined up as possible. Two here. Like so now it's never an exact science, but just like that. And this one doesn't have any glue, which is why it's off to the side. And we're gonna do it just like that. We're gonna put some pressure on it. Torque it a little bit. We're gonna put clamp down because this is a bigger piece. We're gonna clamp the heel. Clamp the toe, put that clamp on an angle so that they actually stand. And just like that, the toe section is together ish. We've got the toe piece done. You can see the holes are already in there. You can kind of see that they're gone through it. We haven't polished the sides, but everything is now one finite piece. So this will mount. As I get clean these things up. Great video. Uh, this will mount on here. So this will be the two and a half centimeters on here. So what we're gonna show you out that we do is how we do the uh, the whole porting on this stuff. So what I always do is I use a piece of wood just so that there's something to drill into. So we're not drilling directly into our counters. I align the piece up with the part that we're doing. And right now I'm just gonna use the toe piece under it, under it so it doesn't fall. But what I do here is I just line it up so it's set on here properly. It's actually gonna to go the other way around, just like that. Sometimes up and down does matter when it comes to the way that you set these things up. So we want this exactly where we want it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some downward pressure on the blade. I'm gonna drill a starter hole here. And then I'm gonna to switch to the back. Do one here, one here, and see if I can get that. I'm gonna do it there. So now on here, it's hard to see because it's white on white, but you can see it if I turn it on an angle. You get the four holes in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it to the front of my board. It doesn't matter at this point which way you turn that because it, it, you're just making sure you're putting the holes in it. What you want to be doing is making sure that you're drilling vertically. You don't want to be angling it at all. And we're just going to go into those ported starter holes. And I clamp it down so it doesn't move, but we're just going to drill. Make sure we get all this stuff out. You're drilling this. The plastic's going to get hot, so you want to make sure that the drill bit is always moving. If you let it stop, it will uh, get stuck in there. And you're just drilling until you see a little bit of the sawdust come back up. Again, we want to make sure the next one we're going to do, we're doing vertical. So just kind of moving it up and down a little bit in there. We're just breaking off any of the excess. Knock this off a little bit. Again, this thing isn't polished up so that it's not uh, so it's not see-through. But we'll get all these things out through. Now you've got your holes all the way through. They're ported, and this since we just did that, it's got a little bit of stuff on it. These holes all match up so that it goes straight through. 
Now for the next part. Okay, so we're back here. We've got these guys mostly polished up here so we can kind of see through them. So what we're gonna do, again, this matches up this way. We've got our two inch uh, screws all the way up through. I haven't pulled out the, uh, the nylocks just yet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna install these through here, kind of like a big porcupine. This will kind of get us going. We want to make sure that we get this guy installed before we start installing the actual holder. So that goes on just like that. That'll go on like that. So that is the toe piece. And if we zoom it in a little bit here for you, sorry as I bounce the camera around, you'll see that these guys are in here. So what we're gonna do once we get these things put together is we'll just nip these off and we'll grind them down so that they are in the right length. But I can't do anything else until we actually get the heel piece in here. So the next part, if we kind of tighten these guys down a little bit so they don't fall off. Just gonna put these guys on. If you don't know what these are, so these are what's called a nylock uh, nut. If I can find it in the middle here, there's a piece of nylon in the middle. So they're a locking nut. These are stainless steel so that they don't rust because, you know, ice gets a little wet. We want to make sure that these things are going to stay as good as they can for as long as they can. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have time over the weekend to go to an actual real hardware store. So I went to just uh, grab some packets of these guys. Normally I'd buy these in bulk. Okay, so we have all six of these kind of just set on there so this can move around. So then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna flip it back over. This is where this gets a little bit more tricky. Yeah, so we put it on here. Yeah, you can't see it here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy underneath. So we got that up like that. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put two of these on so that it's going to secure this piece in between. So just like that. Okay, so we've got these guys on. Let's go move around a little bit. The, uh, the important part is that that moves around because if we need to get these through and it doesn't move, then we get stuck. So you want to have a little bit of give in the way that you're putting that together. Now everything's seated. So just like that, we've got everything set up. Everything is nice and flush mounted. Everything is now down against the skate. And so for the next part, I'm gonna grab a, uh, a nut driver and we're gonna lock all those down. So we're gonna use a ruler. As per always, to make sure that that is on there straight, which seems to be. So three days later, this is the final product. Uh, we've got the two and a half centimeter lifts in this guy. Everything is all sanded and uh, filed down so that there's nothing that can cut you. 
this is all even with the lock nuts here insoles and everything are back in the way that we've done them we've used flat screws uh, as you watch through there are a two inch screw that we cut down to the proper size those will fit in and sit, sit flat on the insole so there's not going to be any bumps on the inside and um, yeah so if you have any questions about the process uh, which took about five hours probably in total to get everything sanded and ground down to the proper size and, and installed uh, leave us a comment below talk to you later bye